How many times do we have to watch students and teacher get, teachers get killed in the classroom or on campus before something changes? How do we protect innocent lives just trying to get an education? A lot of you are discussing this right now on my Facebook page. Robert says no amount of gun laws are going to change this. There are plenty of laws on the books right now. Renee writes, I look at New Zealand's response and then I look at this country's lack of response again and again and again. It sickens me. We can't leave this conversation without hearing from, from some students, and I'm joined right now by three freshmen at George Washington University. Let me run down your names real, real quick, quickly. Give me your full Audrey name. Audrey Okay. And My name is Gabby Pino. Okay. Neil Arte. Okay, and I'm sorry, I've got a future journalist in here, future lawyer in here, but okay, okay this is fine. What, what is your reaction when you see this, you know, another shooting, students killed on campus, just trying to get an education? Yeah, so I think at this point, it's as students, it's almost something we're used to and that we kind of expect. Uh, I think people say, oh, it'll never happen to you. But uh, as a college student, high school student, uh, we very well know that it could happen to us and sometimes expect it. Expect it? To, uh, take that a little further. I mean, what do you mean? You, you expect a shooting at GW or AU or Howard or you expect this to continue? Um, shootings can happen anywhere, whether, whether it's a school or in New Zealand at a church or even at a movie theater. Yeah. So you just have to be aware and vigilant of your surroundings rather than it being, okay, there can just be mass shootings at school. Right. I think the same thing, like when I was coming to college, my dad really had like serious conversations about me, like, you know, you can't just be walking around like this is your home. Like, you know, and furthermore, we're in the city, GW's right in the city. You can't just be walking around like, oh, like we're completely safe. You have to be, you know, be realistic. This is the day and age that we live in. Before you even get here, your parents are talking to you. They're telling you how to conduct yourselves, what to look out for. They talk to you about what to do if there is a shooting, how to get out, how to protect yourself. Do you really have those kind of conversations? You have to. Yeah. and. Um I mean, my parents, they're, they're way out of high school, college, things like that. And this isn't something they're used to. Uh, so I personally haven't had those sorts of conversations, but it's just things that I've learned and I, I, I've seen it on TV. You, you can't help but not want to educate yourself because. Um, is your school GW doing all that it can do to protect you? Do you feel fairly safe on the campus? So the thing about GW is that we have a pretty good policy in place um, for when it comes to uh, preventing or protecting us from if there is an active shooter. Uh, the issue with that is there it, it's not very well educated for students, professors, things like that. All students don't know the policy. Can you run no. it down to me quickly? What is the policy? If you get a report, you know, there, there's an active shooter on campus. What's the policy? What do you do? Uh, honestly, I'm not quite positive. It's not really one of those things. I'm pretty sure it's just Okay, Run I got time. it. Uh, do you know the policy? I don't do you know, know the policy? No. Shelter in place, that sort of thing. Okay, so you don't know the policy. So I'm going to assume a lot of the students don't know the policy. Is that fair? What, what can we do to, to better protect our students? What, what can we do, adults, people out here, you know, and Professor Berman and what, what, the legislators, what can they do about the laws or whatever uh, about guns? Are, are you in favor of arming teachers, students? Some states are, you know. Uh, personally, I'm not. I don't think that's something that can, that will solve the problem. Listen, to, go, go back, scroll, scroll down, right here. Give me the states. Uh, Ten states are already allowing students and faculty to be armed. Arkansas, Colorado, Georgia, Idaho, Kansas, Mississippi, Oregon, Texas, Utah, and Wisconsin. They're allowing students, and Florida's having the debate, they're allowing students to pack, faculty members to pack. Would you feel safer if you knew that some other students were carrying guns, faculty members? Personally not, uh, if just the idea of there being a gun near me is kind of unnerving just because I know the opportunities there, even though it might not be on purpose, you often seen uh, like accidental shootings, like the, they don't know how to properly handle a gun and that is just an accidental thing and it can happen with anybody. So providing the opportunity, I don't think is a very good idea. Do you have positions on a, a second amendment, gun laws, that sort of thing? Have you thought about it? Or is it, you know, is that just adult stuff you think about when you get out of school and you graduate? Right now you're just concentrating on those grades, hitting the books. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I think we definitely think about it. I mean, yeah. coming from like an African household, I would definitely say um, my dad is not one to shy away from talking about real issues. Personally, like, I didn't grow up with guns in my house. Um, I would not be comfortable with students walking around with guns um, or professors having guns at GW. Right. Who's a member of March for Our Lives? That's me. 
Okay. What, what's your position? Um, I am the public relations manager for March for Our Lives DC, and uh, we see, uh, oversee all the branches of March for Our Lives uh, within DC University. For people who don't know, what's March for Our Lives? Uh, it's an organization that advocates for like gun violence prevention. Um, we do a lot of lobbying things with policy um, to get stronger like gun legislation uh, that we might not currently have. Okay, G give me an example. Give me a piece of gun legislation that you'd like to see passed. Uh, I believe it's SB 42 um, recently. Uh, that's up for discussion. Uh, we recently had some of our members go in lobbying on the Capitol this past Tuesday mm -hmm. um, just for stronger legislation, things like that. Okay. Ladies, thanks a lot. I really appreciate your time coming Thank in. Thank you talking so much. About Thank this. you. And we're going to stay on this, even if a lot of other people are through, tired of talking about it.